This is Dave with Napco Tech Support. Today I'll be showing you how to install SQL Express 2022 with DL Windows 554 and how to connect them together. Please feel free to pause the video at any time if it makes it easier to follow along. First, I would like to mention that as of the beginning of 2025, DL Windows 554 still comes packaged with SQL Express 2014, which is no longer supported by Microsoft. Because of this, many professional environments are forced to use newer versions of SQL. If you are not restricted, then you could still use the packaged version of SQL. But be warned, you could run into conflicts when using Windows 11 with SQL 2014. DL Windows 554 has been tested on all versions of SQL from 2014 to 2022, both SQL Express and the Enterprise version. To download SQL Express 2022, just open whatever web browser you use and do a search for SQL Express 2022 download. The top search should be for the Microsoft download. Verify that the link you click on directs you to Microsoft.com. On the Microsoft SQL Express 2022 download page, click on the download button. After the download is finished, click on the folder icon on your taskbar to launch the Windows File Explorer and navigate to your downloads folder. Find the SQL 2022 file and right click on it to choose the option Run as Administrator. You will get a pop-up asking for permission to run the file. Click OK. If you do not have administrative rights on this PC, you may want to contact your local IT to proceed further. When the SQL Server 2022 installation window opens, choose the option Custom. When the next screen pops up, click the Install button. After that, the program will download the needed files from Microsoft and when it completes, it will open a new window. When the SQL Server Installation Center opens, choose the option New SQL Server Standalone Installation. It will take a few seconds for all of the files to load. When it completes, it will bring you to the License Terms page. You can choose to read the EULA or print it to read later. Either way, it will not allow you to continue until you check the box to accept the terms. After you click the box, click Next. After you click Next, it will run a check of your computer and ready the install files. If you have a firewall turned on, you may get the same warning seen here. It's letting you know you have a firewall turned on. You can click on the warning and it will give you a pop-up with a link to Microsoft where you will find an explanation for how to allow server access on your network. If you are just installing DL Windows on this computer, this isn't something you have to worry about. Click Next. When the Azure extension for SQL Server window pops up, uncheck the box for Azure extension. It will not be needed for our setup. After you uncheck the box, click Next. In the Feature Selection window, Make sure these four boxes are checked and click Next. Here in the Instance Configuration window, you will want to type AL SQL Express 22 in this section. After you type the name, just hit the Tab key and it will copy the name to the next line. If you have other SQL databases installed, they will show in the Installed Instances section below. Don't worry if yours doesn't look like mine. When you're done, click Next. In the Server Configuration window, make sure the setting looks like this. It should read Automatic, Automatic, Manual, and Automatic. Click Next. This part is very important. Do not skip this step. Make sure you tick the dot for Mixed Mode. This is what gives you the option to use the SQL SA password. Without this, only the user that did this install will ever be able to use DL Windows. After you click Mixed Mode, the password you want to enter, all lowercase, one word, is 
alarm lock at sign 2012, and then enter it once again in the confirm password section. All lowercase, one word, alarm lock at sign 2012. When that is done, click next. Now is when the program will begin to install. This can take a few minutes, so I'm just gonna jump ahead to the next step. When it completes, you will get this list of green check marks. Click close, and you have successfully installed SQL Express 2022. Next, we are going to install the DL Windows 554 workstation and connect it to the SQL server we just created. Go into the DL Windows 554 folder you downloaded from the Napco Tech Library, find the DL Windows workstation installer, right click on it and choose the option Run as Administrator. You will get the UAC pop-up, click Yes. The DL Windows Setup Wizard will open up Click Next. Choose the option for Everyone. This will prevent future headaches. Click Next. You'll then get the Confirmation Installation window. Click Next. Installation will now complete. Click Close. Now all we have to do is run the database configuration. Click on your Windows Start button. I'm doing this in Windows 11, so it might look different on your PC, but the process will be similar. In your Start menu, it may show up on the first page here in the Recent Apps category, but if it doesn't, click on All Apps, scroll down to the letter D, find the DL Windows folder, click on the folder to view its contents, find Database Configuration, right-click, choose More, then Run as Administrator. The Database Config screen can take a few seconds to load. When it is complete, Verify in the section that says Database Server Name, it has AL SQL Express 22. If it doesn't, click on the drop down and select it from the options. Yours will look different than mine because the first part here that says Main is the name of my PC. Yours will have a different name. Beneath Database Server Name is the Authentication section. Set that to SQL Server Authentication and beneath that, make the username SA and the password alarm lock at sign 2012. Once again, remember, this is all lowercase and one word. In this scenario, we will leave everything else default. But if this were an upgrade from a previous version of DL Windows 5, you would click on Enable Database Configuration Options. Then choose the option Create New Database and Import Data from Previous Version. If the Database Config tool finds any previous DL Windows 5 databases on this PC, they will be selectable in the drop-down next to Database Name. But once again, for what we're doing here, I'm going to uncheck Enable Database Configuration Options. After you have this information in this screen, click Next. On the second screen, you will only need to check the box for Use DL Windows in server mode if you plan on connecting to this database from another workstation. If this is going to be the only PC connecting to this database, click Next. If you are going to connect to this database with another PC, check the box. The username cannot be changed and note the password you use here because you will need to type in the same password in this section on every PC you connect to this database. After you click Next, you should get the Database Has Configured Successfully message and click Finish. After clicking Finish, the Database Config should close automatically. Now all you have to do is launch DL Windows and the login window will open. By default, the username will populate with admin and there will be no password. The password is blank by default. Just click OK. To learn more about DL Windows, visit our tech library at tech.napcosecurity.com.